four weeks of uploading my food pictures to an app or the nutritionist to review and suggest modifications. Here's what I learned with my nutritionist. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every plate has half a plate of vegetables. Quarter of the plate is where your meat and or protein goes. Quarter of the plate can be fruit or nuts. So oils and nuts kind of are the same thing. No vegetable oil, no seed oils, no canola oil. Olive oil is good. Butter is good. Bread is not so good. She did not ever tell me she wanted on my plate. Well, she said Ezekiel bread or Dave's killer bread. Basically one slice and that would be the equivalent of maybe a cup of rice. On the other quarter of the plate, I would put rice or potatoes. Carbs that grow in the ground, on the ground, are better than carbs that are manufactured and processed. I was also avoiding a lot of preservatives or any products that have a lot of ingredients. So basically most of my shopping consisted of the outside edge of the grocery store. I would go into the fruit section. I'd pick up some berries because they are very low in carbohydrates and calories, but they're very good for you. Superfoods, if you will. And then I'd go over and buy some meat, chicken, steak, not pork, no sausage, because those are really processed. Bacon has a lot of calories and not a lot of nutrition, so I avoid bacon. This is one of my recipes that I have found online. It reduces my caloric intake. This is called cloud bread. Take three eggs and you separate the yolks from the whites. Add a half a teaspoon of lemon juice to the egg whites and put it in a blender and whip it up until it's got stiff peaks. Into the yolks, I mix a little bit of vanilla, maybe a little almond extract, and then I also put in some stevia or Splenda. In the oven, I soften up three tablespoons of cream cheese. I mix the cream cheese into the yolks until it's really well blended, and then I carefully fold the yolk mixture into the egg white mixture so I don't pop all the bubbles. Drop six piles onto parchment covered cookie sheet and bake in the oven for about 20 minutes at 300 degrees. It should look like slightly browned at the top, kind of like golden clouds when it's done. And it's really light and fluffy, it's delicious. So the hard thing for me was like learning to eat those vegetables instead of the thing that I really want. I knew another person who had become a dietitian and she lost a bunch of weight. And I said, are you starving yourself or what? And she said, no, I learned how to eat and no, I'm not starving. My nutritionist gave me some rules that I could work with and she would review each meal that I ate and I'd tell her how I felt and she'd tell me what to adjust. It's a learning experience. It's like I decided to invest in my own education. You might think $150 for a month of consultations and a person to chat with is a lot. So I've given you everything that I think you need to know right off the bat, but I do think it is worth it to hire someone so that you have an accountability partner. You really have someone else that's in your corner and rooting you on. I think that's really worth the money. I mean, that's my take. Take what you want, leave what you don't. I hope I saved you $150 or at least brought you a ton of value with this video. If I did, would you do me a favor of recommending this video to someone? If you like this video, why not try one of these?